So, hello and welcome to another video. Today I will show you how to bend this text and well also extrude this one. So yeah, stick around for that and maybe hit that subscribe button because around 90% of people that watch my videos are not subscribed. So please just hit it. Thank you. <laughs> but of course, as normal, we start with a new document. We're going to delete that default cube as we will not need that thing. And we're going to add something else in this case, a text. So we're going to press shift eight. And in this case, we're going to use the text. Let's go and look from above. We don't want just plain text here. We want to write something. So we're just going to press tap and then we're going to write whatever you want. In this case, bending. Perfect. Um, in this case, this one is a little bit too flat in my ears. So we're just going on to the right side, onto data, onto geometry, and then we're just going to extrude this one. Look at that. That is looking way better also this one is well on the side let's change that as well so we're going to rotate this one um with r then press x and then just press 90 and there we go it's standing upright so perfect of course we want to bend that thing also let's make a sweep shading on so it looks actually a little bit nicer uh so let's bend this one we're going to add a modifier and we're going to add well the modifier uh which is called simple deform you also can type in here so simple Deform, and you can see now we can twist this one, um, we can bend this one in different well ways. You can see here, uh, of course, temper and stretch as well. So the very important thing that we have to think about is is from which point it will bend. In this case, it will always bend from this orange little point. So if I just change the angle, you can see it's bending. Uh, you know towards that orange point uh, of course we can change that so we're going into the front view so we actually don't replace that wonderful orange dot and we're going on to the cursor let's see where we want to place this one in this case let's go for the middle uh, i'm going to make a wonderful right click set the origin to the 3d cursor and we can see it's now in the middle and if i now bend this one we can see it's bending from the middle so also something which you can see which you can do is see this, this origin origin thing uh, in this case you can tell um it should bend around something it could be a cube a model whatever you want in this case we're going to add um, a wonderful empty in this case plain access because well uh why the hell not they are not visible, visible in the render so they're perfect for stuff like that so let's go on to our wonderful bending and we're going to choose our wonderful empty and if we now bend this one, we can see it, it will always bend around or try to bend around our little um, empty. I mean, of course, not all angles should be bent. As you can see, it's not perfect. You can see, but of course, if I maybe go and move this thing a little bit, you can see it's also moving it. So we can see now if I bend it around this one, you can see it's bending around this little uh, empty, which of course can also play around with that but that's uh, well the gist of it and so i thank you for watching maybe check out the patreon if you really want to support me and i see you hopefully next time